Washington Oceanway who say drugs have been a problem there for years. Janice? They were not surprised by the arrest, Joy. In fact, I'm standing on Main Street. It's a street that in these 100 plus pages of police reports, it proves that Main Street is known as a place where you can go and buy or sell drugs. In addition to that, in this Operation Lockdown O-Town, one man told me he's not surprised about those 60 arrests. When it comes to drugs being in the community, is that a known thing? Around here, yeah, pretty much. How? How? It's just, I guess it's the type of ocean way from pretty much 63rd to Pecan Park is drugs everywhere around here. Jason Mayo wasn't surprised to learn 60 people had been arrested for selling drugs in Ocean Way. Too many faces to name them all. At least one face we've seen before. Lewis Rickoff Jr. Arrested for selling heroin back in January. Children were found living in feces and no power. The children were temporarily removed from the home. We went back to the house today and found someone was living there again. But we were not welcome. Welcomed. According to police, meth was a major drug in this operation. On December 8th, we were there when three people were arrested after a meth lab was found in a trailer park. Now we know it was all connected. Some dealers selling drugs during the day in front of a convenience store, in a parking lot, or near a church. Police believe the 60 arrest will make Ocean Way safer. And anytime you can remove this, uh, this many drug dealers and this amount of drugs, uh, from our streets, uh, you know you're making a positive impact on the lives. Tonight, police are looking for 11 more suspected drug dealers, but believe Ocean Way is headed toward a more peaceful time with 60 suspected drug dealers arrested. And again, page after page, not surprised to see all of these arrests involving drugs of various kinds. But Sheriff Williams wanted to put an emphasis on the fact that people in the community making complaints is what led to this operation in the first place. He wants everyone to know their complaints did not fall on deaf ears, and that's why those 60 arrests happened. Live in Ocean Way, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station. Janice, you mentioned the six children are in the custody of Children and Family Services. Are they still in DCF custody? You know, some of those children actually were a part of the case that happened with Lewis Rickoff, that particular case. Now, some of them are not affiliated with that case, but when we reached out to Children and Family Services earlier today, they couldn't give us any other details on the whereabouts of the children, but we do know that six children total were removed from homes during this operation. Joy? All right, Janice Harris reporting live for us tonight. Janice, thank you. Tonight, two big stories. The first, a breaking news alert out of Las Vegas where a gunman has killed one person and wounded another on the Las Vegas Strip. The second, an emotional plea from four siblings mourning the loss of their mother, a beloved Jacksonville music teacher. The family now calling for help in finding their mother's killer. What are we going to tell the children? It's already terrible. But I feel like if we at least can come to a place where they are found and we can say, but the bad guys do get caught. More on that breaking news alert in Las Vegas in just a moment. But first, police are searching for a person who killed 62-year-old Deborah Lyles. She was found dead on Thursday in the carport of her Panama Park home. Lyles called. Tonight, Channel 4's Destiny McKeever sat down with Lyle's children and joins us live from outside her home. Destiny, a very painful time for the entire family. In a national breaking news alert we told you about at the beginning of the show, police say one person has died, another has been injured by a gunman on the Las Vegas Strip. The shooter has barricaded himself inside a bus. This is an aerial view of the scene. The standoff began after a shooting earlier today near the Cosmopolitan Hotel Casino. Police do not believe there are any other shooters. Happening right now, we are monitoring three wildfires in northeast Florida. Flames have been spotted in three different counties, Flagler, Putnam, and Nassau counties. In Briceville, crews hope to have that wildfire 90% contained by the end of the day. Right now, it's 85% contained. Video from our Sky 4 drone shows wildfire damage. Today, we returned to Bryceville and spoke to firefighters who say they are determined to get these flames out soon. It was the play of the season. The Gators beat out the Wisconsin Badgers in overtime. 
on the basketball court, 84 to 83. And to say every second counts, well, that would be an understatement. Ryan Jackson has the highlight. President Donald Trump says, do not worry after his health care proposal was pulled. He says a plan can still be put together. On Friday, Congress failed to pass the Republican health care reform. Now, in a town hall today, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said the president needs to reach across party lines and work with Democrats. The president says he is working on the new bill. A consumer alert. Automaker Nissan is recalling more than 56 thousand of its Murano SUVs due to a power steering problem that could start a fire. The recall affects Murano's made in 2013 and 2014. A hose attached to the power steering. Right now the search is on for the to find the person who left a beloved local music teacher dead in her carport. Just hours ago police announced a break in the case. Her stolen car has been found. That woman is 62-year-old Deborah Lyles. She was found dead outside her home in the Panama Park neighborhood on Thursday. Earlier today, we spoke with Lyles' children who are calling for justice in their mother's death. Channel 4's Destiny McKeever has been following this developing story for days now, and she joins us live from where Lyles' car was found. Destiny, you just got off the phone with our crime and safety analyst. What did he have to say? <laughs> Another big story we're following tonight, the man who police say shot two people, killing one on a bus in Las Vegas, has surrendered. Now we want to take you inside the scene, getting a closer look at just some of the chaos. This all unfolded in the Las Vegas Strip this afternoon. As soon as the call went out that a man had barricaded himself in the bus, the Cosmopolitan Casino nearby sent out an alert warning people. Now, taking a look at some of the scene, this is an aerial view. You can see the bus with the man inside. This is where the standoff happened for four hours. There's a SWAT van pulling up behind it. And we've also received images of heavily armored officers. You can see they are taking this very seriously. They know that they are dealing with an armed man who has already shot multiple people. And this video gives us a closer look at the ground. You can see it is a chaotic scene. Cars are stopped and police have the strip completely blocked off. Like we said, one of those two people shot did die. We don't know the condition of the other or the shooter's identity, but we'll bring you an update as soon as we can with more information at newsforjacks.com. Detectives have identified an unknown substance found at a West Side crime scene as hydrochloric acid, which is a potentially deadly liquid. It was found in bottles outside a car with a man dead inside. That was this morning on Timaquana Tim Road near Capri Road. Detectives have not identified the man case will now go to the medical examiner's office to determine that cause of death. The repeal and replace of the Affordable Care Act has been called into question, but President Donald Trump claims there's still time for lawmakers to come up with a new proposal. Tonight, we are closely watching several wildfires in Northeast Florida. Right now, crews are battling flames in two counties, Nassau and Flagler. They're also making sure one does not flare up again in Putnam County. Today, we return to Bryceville in Nassau County, getting a look through our Sky 4 drone. That's where firefighters have spent days battling flames that scorched nearly 700 acres of land. Thank you, Mark. Local breaking news right now coming out of Mayport. Jacksonville police are investigating a crime scene on Ocean Street near the intersection of Menorah Can Way. Now both JFRD and JSO, they're at the scene. It's unclear exactly what happened, but we have a crew headed that way. We'll bring you an update as soon as we know more information. Back to the arena football. Yes. I'm really jealous. I missed it. It's such a crazy atmosphere. Gosh. It's fun. Yeah, I wanted to be there. I'll have to get there next weekend. Well, you know, it was a great day for not only a white wedding, but a firefighter wedding. You heard it right. <laughs> Natasha and Jared Bailey said their vows today in San Marco. Both are firefighters with the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department. Right, Natasha, you see there, showed up in a fire truck escorted by firefighters. It was all part of Jared's plan. A truly happy ending with a beautiful kiss. Look at that. Great location. That's where we should have went on our dinner break. to those two. We yeah. We should have went on our dinner break. We can't and crash out. the wedding. Why not? <laughs>
We're gonna be wedding crashers, right? We'd have to bring a gift. We got on the purple. They had the purple <laughs> one too. Right? right. Thank you so much for joining us. Our coverage continues on newsforjack.com. Don't forget, the morning show begins at 7 a.m. in the morning. Have a good night.